What's up guys, my name is Mr. TagBeast, and I'm here to bring you guys another Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay with commentary. Today what I for you guys is a video talking about how I got into Call of Duty. Now let's briefly go over the gameplay. This is a 120-on-1 with the MSMC playing on the map Yemen. I was playing a little bit of Ground War Kill Confirmed, one of my favorite game modes. This game mode really has been growing on me lately. I've been playing it a lot since I got this gameplay uh, a while ago. But uh, I got 121 kills, no, 120 kills with one death, so this made it a 120 KD gameplay. So pretty decent gameplay, and uh, I picked up a ton of tags. I was just trying to get my streaks. Once I got my streaks, I would just try to keep overlapping them. That way, I wouldn't have to get out of my load start, then try to go for tags. I could just get as many kills as possible and maximize my load start to its full potential and get as many as kills as possible. That way, I can work up towards my K9 unit and swarm. And then once I got those kill streak, I can start working up towards another load star while I'm in my uh, current load star. So that's a really good tip if you guys are using the load star. Just try to maximize the most kills as possible. Commentary topic is how I got into Call of Duty. A lot of people have been asking me this a lot lately, so I just thought I'd give you guys the brief rundown story. So back in Modern Warfare 2, I moved into a new neighborhood. I wasn't really into Call of Duty or gaming in general. I would play Madden NFL, you know, when friends came over, I would play that, play sports games just to interact with friends like that. Nothing serious on the level that I am making videos, commentaries, daily news, daily tips and tricks, just things that I'm doing now I wasn't near on that level when I first started Call of Duty I didn't even know YouTube existed so I just moved into this new neighborhood probably about three to four months in I started interacting with new people knew uh, some of the guys around my area we started playing Call of Duty together and back in Modern Warfare 2 I guess that was the all be all Call of Duty because a lot of people in my school is like man this Modern Warfare 2 game go hard as fuck you should go pick it up I was like alright let me go try it out so I asked my dad could he buy me an Xbox 360 he bought the Xbox and then I bought Modern Warfare 2 for my Xbox and I was previously playing it on the PS3 with my friend and I thought I would get an Xbox because most of the people at school said get an Xbox because we can play with all of us so I was like alright so I got the Xbox I really didn't like the Xbox so I ended up picking up a PS3 because the controller felt so weird since I was playing P uh, PS3 model for two every day at his house so the controller on Xbox 360 of course by uh, nature it, it felt weird to me so I wanted to get a, a PS3 so that's my dad could he get a PS3 he was like no you're gonna have to stick with the Xbox so uh, I had to get used to the Xbox controller once I got used to the Xbox controller I fell in love with the system then I fell in love with the Call of Duty series and the Call of Duty model for two that was the best game of Call of Duty I think in my opinion that model for three were one of my favorite Call of Duties those two uh, it just depends on the the, the time and day you're playing because back when I first played I was uh, one of those noobs that one man army noob tube the whole game because that, I mean I was young I, I didn't know what to do and I was like mm, you know I can just use this one man army noob to piss people off and I loved hearing people rage like back before trolling but back before I even discovered YouTube I was trolling before I even knew what it was and then when Call of Duty Black Ops came out everybody at school was pumped for the game they're like Mr. Tech Beast you gotta get this game it's gonna be the best Call of Duty pick Black Ops up I wasn't that good. I probably was a 1.17 KD player. Not the best. I knew it wasn't over a 1.20 because I was trying for the whole entire summer to get it over a 1.20. And I just couldn't do it. Like when I first got the game, I was going like 3 and 40 every game. I was doing so bad because I came Model for 2 like the last two months that the game was out. And then of course, Model for 3 came out. And once Model Warfare 3 came out, I went absolutely ape shit. I got so good towards the end of Black Ops. I was becoming a very decent player. Then when Model for 3 came out, I just went ape shit. I was playing it daily. Me and my best friend, we were on that game like every day. Then I discovered YouTube. My friend, uh, we went on this trip with our school to uh, San Marcos. is somewhere down in Texas. It's kind of by San Antonio. And my friend was like, man, you got to check out this guy named x -Dolls. Watch x -Dolls video. I was like, man, I'm just as good as he is. Because towards the end of Black Ops, I started getting cocky. thought I was the best player alive in the world. Of course, I'm not the best player alive in the world. Currently, I found out about x -Dolls, started watching his videos, got into Modern Warfare 3, started doing videos, and now I'm here with you guys and i'm now currently playing black ops 2 as you guys do know thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed the quick little video if you don't remember to leave a like rating down below it really does help out the channel as well as it does show your support thank you guys for watching my name is mr tech Beast, and i'm out peace